हेलो क्लास आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कंजर्वेशन नंबर ऑफ स्पीसीज इन अ कम्युनिटी रियली मैटर टू द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द इको सिस्टम बिकॉज वी नो दैट द रिच बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द स्टेबिलिटी प्रोडक्टिविटी रिसाइलेंस alternative pathway and uh, the health of ecosystem also so this these are known as the importance of the species diversity uh, towards any ecosystem like uh, in the case of the stability the ecologist considered that uh, the communities with more species tend to be more stable than those which less species who oh, actually a uh, stable community should not show too much variation in productivity from year to year it must be resistant or resilient to occasional natural as well as the man made disturbances so it must be resistant to invasive for the alien species also in this uh, regard uh, a series of experiment is done by the david tilman a uh, very long term ecosystem experiment he has done by using the outdoor plots confirmed that uh, these attributes are linked to species richness in a community so he has given also the importance of the ecosystem health as it is often believed that the little harms would uh, occur to any ecosystems if a few species become extinct so reason behind this that uh, the rich biodiversity is not only essential for the ecosystem health but also for the survival of human race on the earth so these are the basic importance of the species diversity towards the ecosystem now what is a loss of biodiversity we know that due to human activities the biological resources have been decline rapidly uh since the colonizations of the tropical pacific island by human it led to the extinction of more than 2000 species of the native birds very soon and more than 15500 species are facing the threat of extinction in the world wide at present 12% of the birds near about 23% uh, of the mammals and 32% of the amphibians and also 31% of the gymnospermic plants they are facing the threat of extinction children we know that uh, there is a natural process of natural extinction is found on our universe with the change in environmental conditions some species disappear and uh, other uh, which are more adaptive to change their conditions Uh, like uh, they take their places their loss of species uh, which occurred in the geological past at a very slow rate so this is the process is known as the natural extinction but sometimes due to any disturbance a mass extinction is found on our earth uh, means uh, it is the dying of an extermination of a very large number of species due to any catastrophes or any disturbance sudden disturbance on our earth so according uh, to the iucn red list that is given in 2004 uh, the very documentation of the extinction of near about 784 species in the last 500 years it includes uh, many vertebrates many invertebrates also many plants also a very important uh, examples that are extensions including that uh, one picture is showing dodo it is a bird that found in the mauritius and uh, in africa africa there is a quagga quagga is found in the africa and uh, and one is that uh, in australia that is the thylacines steeler sea cow very recently disappeared from the earth it is found in the russia and uh, in india we find that uh, many suspicious three 
variety of the tigers that is the bali jawan caspians uh, it, it disappeared in the last 20 years they become extinct so recently extinct animals are here and uh, the main reason of this extinction is very which is found very very dangerous for our universe that is the mass extinction due to natural calamities a large number of species that become extinct with uh, which is called the mass extinction since uh, the origin and diversification of life on earth there were five episodes of mass extinction have been recorded for the species uh, these five very big uh, mass extinctions are known as number one time that is the end ordovician's time that is the ordovician silurian extension then late devonian time era the late devonian extension and uh, permian that is during the permian and the terrasic uh, era extension and end terrasic era that is at the time of the jurassic extensions when dinosaurs was found on the earth and uh, then fifth was known as that is the cretaceous uh cretaceous uh, tertiary extensions have been recorded so far and but the sixth extension is in progress uh this presently in progress uh, which is is found in the different from the previous episode because the current species extensions rate are to be 100 to 1000 times faster than in the pre human times Uh, such type of extensions is also known as the or anthropogenic extension means it is motivated by the human activities so human activities are very very responsible for the faster rate of this such type of extension and ecologists warn that if the present uh, trend is continue nearly half of all the species on earth might be wiped off within the next 100 years so it is very very dangerous for our earth now what effects is going on the biodiversity losses on our earth the first effect is the decline in the plant production and second is the lower resistant to the environment uh, perturbations such as drought condition dry conditions and uh, third one is the increased variability in the certain ecosystems process such as plant productivity is going to be lost and water uses is going to be lost and pest and disease cycles is also increasing so these are the effect of the biodiversity losses now what are the causes of biodiversity losses actually the world is facing accelerated rates of species extension largely that is due to the human activities but uh, there are four major cause of the biodiversity that is called the evil quarter also it is uh, used to describe them number one is the habitat loss and fragmentation the reason behind this reason and second is the over exploitation of natural resources then third one is the if any alien species is invasions in the indigenous species is. and sometimes co extension is also reason for the loss of the biodiversity so first one is the habitat loss and fragmentation it is the most important cause that driving animals and plant to extent like a uh, destruction of habitat or natural home is the primary reason or cause of the extinction of a species by the human activity the tropical rainforest that initially covered 14% of the land but now it is going to be only 6% due to this fragmentation or habitat loss uh, we know that the amazon rainforest is it was called the lungs of the planet and by cultivating the soya bean in that area this rainforest is going to be fragmented and loss of the hab natural habitat of so many plants and animals when large size habitats are broken into small fragmented due to the human activity activity certain animals are uh, badly affected and threatens their survival so the main reason 
of the loss of biodiversity is found that it is due to the fragmentation or human activity so and uh, the natural habitat loss is the main reason the second uh, reason is the over exploitation our natural resources are over exploited by the human activity due to it his greed human is very greed greedy and it result the degradations and extension of the resources uh, for example the steeler sea cow which is which is found in the uh, russia and uh, passenger pigeon a very very important and a very good uh, pigeon that are going to uh, pass the messages from one place to another place passenger pigeon is found in the indian continents also uh, it is have going to be lost the over exploitation of the natural resources sometimes the alien species invasions is found is very very important to that when the new species that entering in a geographical region are called the exotic or alien or non native species when alien species are introduced uh, unintentionally or deliberately for uh, whatever purpose they may cause the disappearance of the native or we can say indigenous species through the changed biotic interactions very few examples uh, of the exotic species uh, are nile perch the nile perch uh, that introduced into the lake victoria here is the picture of the nile perch and african chichit fish also so responsible into to for the extension of more than 200 species of indigenous chichit fish and uh, sometimes alien species invasions like uh, for example the recent ill legal introduction of the african catfish uh, this african catfish named the clarius grigi pinus uh, for aquaculture purpose uh, to uh, to posing a threat to the indigenous catfish uh, in our rivers it is found in the indian rivers uh, some alien weeds are also here uh, for example the carrot grass is known as the parthenium actually it is a weed which came into india as a contaminant contaminant with the imported wheat and uh, it has occupied all open area that uh, uh, extremitings the many herbs and shrubs in our country and another uh, plant that is the lantana lantana is an struggling shrub actually of the tropical america which got introduced in india accidentally actually and today it has been uh, become a very serious weed such as replaced many species in the forest one uh, water plant that is the water hackenth jalkumbi ecornia was uh, introduced by the european country in india and it has clogged water bodies that in including the wetland also at uh, many places resulting in the death of the sur- several aquatic plants and animals also so these are the few alien weeds also that invade in our ecosystem uh, another reason of the loss of uh, biodiversity is very very important that is the co extension we know that uh, there are many obligate associations among the different species is found in our ecosystem and uh, when one of them become extinct uh, the plant and animal species associated with with its obligatory may also become extinct for example co ilvo plant uh, pollinator that uh, mutualism by the process of mutualism which result in extinction of one partner if the other is eliminated in the nature so if the host uh, fish become extinct all the parasite exclusively found uh, on it is it will be also become extinct so these are the reasons when one species is dependent on the other species and one is going to be extinct and the other will also will be extincted so these are the reasons uh now we have to conserve our biodiversity why we are going to conserve our biodiversity what reason is behind that 
one is the uh, that reason is the narrowly utility utilitarians broadly utilitarians and ethical arguments also uh, if uh, we are going to know the what are the narrowly you utilitarian uh means uh, direct or economical uses for the direct or economical uses human derives the countless direct economical benefits from the nature uh, for example like food firewood fiber and construction material also industrial product also so many drugs are also obtained uh, we know that near about 25% of the drugs that currently sold in the market uh, worldwide were derived from a uh, mere of 120 species of plants about and uh, that is contributed to a traditional medicines also uh, by the native peoples also so it is very very useful for us so narrowly we are utilizing these biodiversities so we have to conserve it also and uh, next is that is the broadly what we are going to use very broad um, broadly utilizations means what are the different ecosystem services are here means biodiversity plays a very major role in many ecosystem services that uh, nature provided you can see here the narrowly utilizing the food we get from the plants like cereals pulses fruits firewood industrial products also economical benefit by the nature fibers medicines construction material we will also get from this these utilization in case of the broadly utilitarian that is the ecosystem services so we know that the amazon forest produce 20% of the total oxygen in the atmosphere on the earth and uh, next is the that pollination of plants through the pollinator means bees birds and bats is also there so many aesthetic pleasure of walking through thick uh, woods watching spring flowers also so we know that we will get uh, the oxygen pollination aesthetic pleasure also many um, erosion control also flood and erosion control is also responsible for that so these are known as this ecosystem services in the area of the broadly utilitarian a uh, few ethical arguments is also that uh, there are millions of plants animals and microbial species who evolve just as we have evolved and uh, we are sharing the planet with us uh, with the help of these plants animals and microbial species uh, no oxygen we know that there is a useless to live on this earth and every species has an intrinsic value also so it may not uh, be of the direct use to us if it is therefore our moral and ethical duty also uh, that not to destroy them instead uh, we will uh, we should have to take care of their well being as so to the past to the rich biological legacy to our future generation also so these are the ethics or ethical arguments also now how do we conserve our biodiversity uh, the methods that are used to conserve our biodiversity by the human being basically it is there are the two strategies of biodiversity conservation one is the on, on site another is the off site uh, in situ conservation and ex situ conservation on site and off site like in the in situ conservations uh, the strategies emphasizes protection of the whole ecosystem actually therefore its biodiversity at all levels is protected it means we save the entire forest to save the tiger however many nations find it uh, unrealistic and economically not feasible to conserve all their uh, biological wealth but on the globally basis the problem has been addressed by the eminent uh, conservative conservative conservationist so in case of the in situ conservation strategies are also of the two types one is the hot spot and another is the uh, protected areas also 
so if we are going to conserve it uh, by these that is the in situ conservations like hot spot and uh, what are the concept of this hot spot that uh, it was developed to designate the priority area for in situ conservation the hot spots are the richest and the most threatened actually reservoir of the plants and animals that uh, life on the earth also so uh, the key criteria for determining a hot spots uh, what are the hot spots uh, which portion is known as the hot spots so in the case of the hot spot a uh, very high level of the species richness is there very high degree of endemism species confined so that the reasons and not uh, found anywhere else and the degree of threat is also there which is me measure in terms of the habitat loss also so in india if we are going to uh, choose this that is the biodiversity hot hot spot in india mainly the western ghats and sri lankan areas uh, that uh, they occurs along with the western coast of india through the maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu kerala we can say uh sometimes uh, the western ghats are known as the malabar areas and, uh, and next is the, that uh, biodiversity hot spot in india's are the indo burma areas also it extend from the bhutan to uh, bhutan to the nor north eastern india also and in the himalayan regions uh, is also known as the hot spot of the biodiversity so these are the hot spot uh, we have to reserve conserve it by the biosphere reservoirs Uh, by means of the natural making the natural park and the wildlife sanctuaries is also and sometimes the sacred groups is also we have to protect these areas this protected areas um, we have to find the network also uh, the areas that land and the sea basically especially that is the dedicated by the protections and maintenance of the biological diversity so in the protective areas uh, network we find that is created groups also biosphere reservoir also national parks wildlife sanctuaries also and in the biosphere reservoir we have to conserve our terrestrial areas also and marine areas also for that uh, um, uh, government has making a national park also we know that uh, we have a very good national parks in our country and uh, corbett national park the first national park that is established in india and uh, next uh, that is the sanctuaries uh, bird uh, bird sanctuaries is also found in our country biosphere reservoir is also here so india has uh, near about uh, we know that there are 14 biosphere reservoir is found and uh, in the ex situ conservations uh, uh that uh, protection of animals or plants uh, when they are in in danger zone or threatened zones and it needs an urgent measure to save from the extinction so we have to make the zoological park botanical garden and sometimes the wildlife safaris also so we have to take this these plants and animals away from that area uh, for the conservation and uh, to protect them from the extinction like uh, in case of the ex situ conservations the scared plants having the home gardens placed in the home gardens sometimes seed banks is also made by the um, scientist and government for the field gene banks or we can used the process that is the cryo preservation also and the botanical garden is also there arbutra is also there zoological park is also there sometimes aquaria is found and the wildlife uh, safari parks is also developed to conserve the biodiversity but uh, the, the convention on the biodiversity is also required for that like uh, biodiversity knows no political boundaries actually and uh, its conservation is therefore a collective responsibility of all nations the historic conventions of uh, biological diversity the earth summit that is held in rio de janeiro in 1992 that called upon all nations to take the appropriate measure for the conservation of biodiversity and uh, sustainable utilization of its benefit and it is follow up the world summit uh, on the sustainable development uh, that is held in 2002 in johannesburg 
South Africa. And uh, we know that 190 countries plus their uh, commitment to achieve uh, by 210. A significant reduction in the current rate of biodiversity loss of at global regions and local levels also. So we find that we have to conserve our biodiversity because it is very very useful for the human being for the survival of mankind also. So this topic is completed now. Thank you and have a nice day.